Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense. Today I am going to tell you a story about Theory Mugler's Amen or now just Mugler's Amen. I absolutely hated this fragrance when I first tried it. In fact, I was never, never, ever looking at these bottles. And every time I would just walk into an aisle full of perfumes, this brand would just be ignored. I had no interest and I did not understand the hype behind these fragrances because people are... I think this brand is a cult favorite among uh, perfume lovers. There's Amen, there's Pure Malt and there's uh, uh, something with uh, a cigar note. I think I have that fragrance now. But this fragrance is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's, uh, it's something that could be called a masterpiece. My love for it actually started with this random sample that I had. I just wanted to give it a try one day, one fine morning and I just sprayed it on. Just two sprays on my hand and immediately I was surrounded by a sweet uh, candy-like scent bubble which kind of irritated me. So Amen is one of those fragrances which might make you queasy at first. At first it might irritate the hell out of you because that sweetness reminds you of fragrances like, I mean horrible fragrances like um, Paco Rabanne's One Million, that DNA, I don't know, there's something really wrong about that opening. But let me tell you, those typical French fragrances uh, might surprise you in the dry down because that's where the magic starts. And I think uh, that's a common theme among uh, these flashy designer fragrances from France. People have uh, something for this... Um, uh, fruity sweetness, they love those kind of scents. I think French men might love such scents or French women might love uh, such, such scents on their men. And that's why they have so many sweet fragrances out there. I mean, Paco Rabanne is full of them. Uh, one's Invictus, so popular. Invictus Aqua was another popular fragrance. I mean, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Malle, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Malle. There are so many sweet fragrances out there that people love. And I never truly understood why people love such fragrances. But Amen totally changed that. I think this is a solid composition with beautiful ingredients. And the sense of balance that this fragrance offers is just spectacular and for the price that this is offered it's truly a gem i could say it is an everyday masterpiece it's not something uh, very special uh, very unique something that uh, contains oud and all those golden uh, liquids that you might imagine but still i would say this is how a scent should actually smell like the love started with this random sample and this is the new bottle by the way this is Mugler's Amen and there's a lot of talk, talk out there regarding reformulations and stuff like that and it's I, I think people are just getting confused. Yes, this scent was too loud and um, in the beginning and now that thing is quite toned down but the performance on it is absolutely unchanged. Anyone saying otherwise is just trying to brag about their old scents or their original bottles or trying to you know put the prices really really high on those limited bottles. I have uh, by the way, a small 30 ml refill from the old batches. It's a very, very old batch. So I can tell you very uh, confidently this scent hasn't changed much. Yes, the ingredients. Uh, they might be different, but the quality is there. It starts off with a nice uh, lavendery vibe and uh, a lot of sweetness. I mean, the sweetness that comes from sugar syrup. And that's the irritating bit. But it soon... Uh, kind of dissolves or kind of fades away and what you're left with is just magical this this smooth ultra smooth uh, creamy vanilla note powdery vanilla note there's this lovely floral background abstract florals you cannot really uh, pinpoint any of the uh, flowers here and there's this beautiful heartwarming undertone of caramel that you get from this fragrance it's very very smooth so uplifting, so cozy. There's this uh, boozy patchouli element and it is so soft, so beautifully blended with the rest of ingredients. Uh, it's a true surprise. And then in the dry down, you get a spectacular note of sandalwood. Yes, sandalwood, a creamy sandalwood. Otherwise, these generic scents have um, a very horrible ghost-like element of sandalwood, a very synthetic sharp screechy sort of sandalwood this is smooth this is classy this is i mean 
a beautiful bubble of scent around you that you would like to have every day it's not going to change much on the dry down but the transition that happens initially is where the magic starts happening so you've got to tolerate the opening which will last you about 30 minutes or 1 hour and then the scent is just heaven in the dry down and the dry down stage is going to last on you for like 8 to 10 hours in this hot indian climate so um you can imagine what uh, i mean how long it'll last in uh, uh, the french climate or the european the general european climate now they have really hot summers but you know in general uh, their weather is quite cold and very pleasant or even in america not the south so you can really enjoy the scent and you will get compliments you will get noticed its scent really pierces through air and um, does it's uh, magic on people and it's a great great scent to have i think everyone uh, will love this scent especially those who have the patience to go through those transitions and appreciate what the perfumer is trying to tell you and the perfumer in particular is not so popular i've never never heard of him uh, before it's jack uh, jack huclier i don't know if uh, that's the right name even but he's done a fantastic job on the scent and theory mugler as classy he was uh, a fashion icon a strong rebellious character i think he's put his heart out with amen and i think this deserves laurels this deserves our attention and i'm glad that i finally do enjoy a mugler scent take care bye bye see you soon